How to calculate your blood alcohol level. Hello, and welcome to Video Jug. Drive with a blood alcohol content level of 0.08% or higher anywhere in the US, and you could be arrested for drunk driving. Blood alcohol content, or BAC, is a measure of the ratio of alcohol in your blood. So, a BAC of 0.1 means one part alcohol for every 1,000 parts of blood. The cops use a breathalyzer to get your BAC, and you can too. But if you don't have a breathalyzer handy, you'll have to do the math. Follow these steps to learn how to calculate your BAC and know when it's legally safe to drive. Step one, pick your poison. The first step in determining your BAC is knowing the alcohol content of your drink of choice. You also need to know what determines a standard drink. Beer is usually 4% alcohol, but this varies depending on the type of beer. Your best bet is to check the label. One drink of wine is measured as five ounces. This includes white, red, rosé, and champagne. One drink of hard liquor is measured as 1.5 ounces, or one shot of liquor, which contains 40% alcohol. Remember, some drinks are made with even stronger potency, like 151 proof rum or grain alcohol. Hard liquor will send your BAC spiraling up faster than beer or wine. Step two, weighing your options. Calculating your BAC depends on your gender and your weight. Alcohol is absorbed differently by men and women, but women be wise. When it comes to staying sober longer, men definitely have the advantage. Their bodies handle it better, and men typically weigh more than women. For instance, a 180-pound man who has had four drinks will have a BAC of 0.08. In the same hour, his 120-pound female friend needs only two drinks to reach the same BAC of 0.08. They're both legally drunk, but she got there with half the amount of alcohol. Charts available online can help you judge how much you can drink before you're considered intoxicated. Step three, time will tell. As the night drags on and you consume drink after drink, the hours will have an effect on your BAC. As a general rule, subtract 0.015 from your total BAC for each hour that passes since your first drink. Our 180-pound man who's had four drinks has a BAC of 0.08. If he waits for one hour, his BAC may drop to 0.065, and he's legal to drive. But you should always keep in mind that there are many factors involved in a person's reaction to alcohol. Your BAC can be affected by hereditary factors, medication, metabolism, hormonal factors, and the amount of food in your stomach. Knowing how to calculate your blood alcohol level can help you to become a responsible drinker so that you can learn to pace your drinks and not get plastered. That way you can keep yourself and anyone near you safe and sound. Cheers.